Hey, it's your boy Raw Wade, man, and you rocking with Hot New Hip Hop right now. St. Petersburg, Florida, born and raised. Not really too much to know, you know what I'm saying? It's just like everybody other city, you know what I'm saying? Hard times and downtown buildings, you feel me? My dad, like one of the coolest niggas I know, you feel me? Like, he wants strict, like, long he just do the right shit, you know what I'm saying? And he made doing the right shit look so cool, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, just do the right thing. Especially with him being where he from, you know what I'm saying? My dad, street nigga already, you feel me? So all the other shit you trying to do, he done already did it, you know what I'm saying? So he got more answers and more guidance than an uh, average dad, you know what I'm saying? Cause nigga done been the hell and back, you feel me? So I'm always thankful for people like that, like my dad, my uncles, niggas who done been down the road three, four times, you know what I'm saying? They came back, you know? I can't wait till I can actually like tell my mom, like, okay, mom, you can quit that shit. Cause she been doing that shit since I was a, a baby. Nine to five, every, don't miss a day. She used to work for Bright House. So she was there for Time Warner, Bright House, and Spectrum. Then they fired her, you feel me? Like 13 years later, they fired her. I definitely like the English because I could write. They teach you in English class how to structure your writing, like with a thesis, you know what I'm saying? With a full body paragraph, how to, you know what I'm saying? Keep the, the reader, you know what I'm saying? Attracted to the story. So like, that was always easy for me. People always say, why is music so short? You feel me? And people say, oh, he all, you know what I'm saying? I start my music different, like with the verse. Sometimes I might come right on with the verse and then come with the hook and then it go off. And that bitch be like, what the fuck? They want to hear more, you know what I'm saying? So boy, English class definitely taught me like how to keep the keep the reader and the listener attracted and keep them want to hear more and more, you know what I'm saying? And how to end it like, wow, like mind blowing, you feel me? I done been making, making music since like the fifth grade. Like my, my brother, like that used to be his dream, like to be a big time rapper. And so he used to like, once he found out I could sing, you know what I'm saying, just doing little shit around the house. He'd go to school, come home with a notebook full of shit. And be like, you saying this, rap this. So since like the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, I was just, you know what I'm saying, writing music and just trying it. When I got to high school, I kind of just fell back off it. You know what I'm saying? Like, then like 11th grade, I just picked it back up. First song I made was called Big Hearted. My homeboy uploaded it for me. You know what I'm saying? He just put it out, gave me the name. Like, he ain't know. It's crazy because he put raw in parentheses and then put Wade. Like, I don't know what his name gonna be. He might not like that, you feel me? But he posted it for me. Like, fuck it. And once I got to like a thousand views, I was like, oh shit. A thousand plays on SoundCloud, you feel me? I'm finna blow up, you feel me? So I was just, I just kept going, you feel me? Then I got 2,000. Then I got 8,000. I was like, oh, 10,000. Then 100,000. And then a million, you feel me? And I was like, just keep going. I got a call one day and it was an A&R in my grandma living room, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, we fucking with you. Shit, and I, and I wanna say at that point, bro, I had gave up on music. Like, I had just got evicted from my spot. You know what I'm saying? I was just living in this little shack. You know, I knew I wasn't finna work no job. You know what I'm saying? It was either just, I'ma just sell dope till I die. You feel me? Cause at that moment, I had just gave up on music. Like, that shit for the TV screen. When they came to me, it was like, that would always been my dream to sign a record deal. You know, I wasn't no big ass artist at the time. I wasn't really doing nothing. So for them to like, you know what I'm saying, rock with me, that shit blew me. And then like a month later, I dropped like my biggest song at the time, I was Get It Bad. You feel me? Like, they ain't come because I had a buzz and no shit. They just came. When I get to where I'm going, bro, I probably gonna have about 10 cars, bro. Yeah, I love cars, bro. Well, I spent my last dime on a car, bro. Hell no, nah, I'm not goddamn never. I'm a big nigga, bro. I can't feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm be like this and that motherfucker. But I probably get. I probably want to. I'm probably gonna get my mama a car first. Though. I'm probably get her a Benz truck. You know what I'm saying? I feel like once she get it, I can scratch that off my list. Cause you know I could jump on that bitch anytime. You feel me? But I probably um my first one probably would be an AMG Benz, Tudo with them red seats and that bitch. That nigga Gates got one of them. Uh, yeah, I actually rode around in that bitch with him. Like, that bitch hard. I probably don't get one, but he don't got the drop top, though. He got the hard. I'm gonna get the drop top, though. Kevin Gates, he was on tour with a Florida artist, and uh, she posted me on his page, and uh, he seen it, and he DM'd me. It was like, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And we just been rocking ever since then. That shit still wow, feel man. unreal. Like, I've been listening to that nigga since like the seventh grade, bro. I definitely like got some motivation from bro because the type of music we make, you know what I'm saying, it's not like that blow overnight music, you know what I'm saying? It's hard work, but it's stick. You know what 
I'm saying? Want somebody like your music, making that kind of music, they, they gonna be your fan for life. I wanna meet that nigga 21 Savage though. You feel me? Like, he remind me of one of them niggas back home. Like, one of our kind, you feel me? Other kind of niggas, they kind of like, some of them, some ain't right about them, but I, I wanna meet that nigga 21 Savage. Yeah, my boy Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, man. Man, me and Ed Sheeran do like an EP, man, that shit gonna go triple platinum. I'm telling you, you think it's a game. I'll, I'll snap with it. I don't want niggas to be like, man, that nigga ain't never dropped a bad project. That nigga ain't never dropped a bad. That nigga hard. I want to buy my Nana house and a lot next door. And I want to just rebuild. I want to knock that bitch down and just rebuild that bitch right in the middle of the hood. I'm going to put a big ass mansion right there in the middle of that bitch. I'm going to redo her kitchen and all kind of shit. You feel me? Why? That's my goal for 2020 because. Man, my, my nana need a new kitchen, bro. Real shit. That's why I tell you, I want them cars, man, but got a lot of shit I got to do first. You feel me? But music-wise, though, I want to be 10 steps ahead of where I'm at right now. So we just keep moving at the pace we is.